Welcome to Letterbox Book Club. My name is Claire. And I'm Mackenzie. And today we'll be discussing the fourth book in the From Blood and Ash series, A War of Two Queens by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Woohoo! Do you want me to start us sure, with the blurb? Sure. I, yeah, I have no yeah. other comments beforehand, yeah. so blurb us away. Yeah. Also, I pre-apologise if you hear the fan of my laptop, because it's just, it's just hot. I don't know why. War is only the beginning. From, from the desperation of golden crowns. Castile Denier knows all too well that very few are as cunning or vicious as a blood queen, but no one, not even him, could have prepared for the staggering revelations. The magnitude of what the blood queen has done is almost unthinkable. And born of mortal flesh, nothing will stop Poppy from freeing her king and destroying everything the blood crown stands for. With the strength of the primal of life's guards behind her and the support of the woven, Poppy must convince the Atlantean generals to make war her way, because there can be no retreat this time, not if she has any hope of building a future where both kingdoms can reside in peace. A great primal power rises. Together, Poppy and Castile must embrace traditions old and new to safeguard those they hold dear, to protect those who cannot defend themselves. But war is only the beginning. Ancient primal powers have already stirred, revealing the horror of what began eons ago. To end what the Blood Queen has begun, Poppy might have to become what she has been prophesied to be, what she fears the most, as a harbinger of death and destruction. Bow, bow, bow. Wow, wow. Oh, so you're done? That's it? That's it, that's I, was, it, sorry. I was expecting more. I'm sorry. No, no, no sorry, sorry. I should no, no, be no, more fun. I love it. No, that's no, okay. All right. Uh, thoughts, feelings, emotions? Um, we, it's been a while since we've finished the book, so we have been stewing on it for like a few weeks, so our memory may be really piss yeah. poor. Um, but... Would you like to go first? Because okay. it has been even longer for I. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. All good, all good. I know. Yeah. Um, it's, it's fun. It's okay. <laughs> thoughts, feelings, emotions. Um, I really liked the first half of the book mm. just because it was really about – um poppy liberating i guess a lot of the towns and like making her way claiming kind of land back for atlantia from the ascended and from isbeth and all that type of stuff Mm. um and yeah she does come across as like a liberator and not more of a not much of a conqueror which is pretty nice and she's really hell-bent on that being who she is she's not a monster she's not like her mother blah 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 Mm. the back half i felt like there was no like from when they were at the castle onwards when they were invited, I suppose, yeah. onwards, it just felt like there was no real sense of, like, urgency. Yeah. Um, especially in – we'll probably talk about this a bit more deeply later, but, like, the retrieving of Malik and everything, mm. it's like – again, there was no real sense of urgency. I know they had, like, two weeks, but, like, they were kind of in and out pretty mm. quickly. Mm. Um, I don't know. It went by pretty quickly. Yeah, no urgency. I feel like if there was, like, a third-party sort of involvement, yeah. give that bit of, like, maybe tension and stress, but it's like – no, we get Malik, we give him over, yeah. done, yeah, let's whatever. All have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I suppose for Kieran, there was a, a deadline, mm. <laughs> which is a, a pun. <laughs> I thought about it all day. But yeah, like, yeah, no sense of urgency. Um, and then ultimately, it, the whole book comes down to one giant family squabble. Yeah. Like, that's all it really is. Yeah. It's like, and like, I keep thinking about, like, because Castile <clears throat> and Malik, 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 Malik. Mm. It's been insinuated that they've entertained, you know, the queen in a way, and then it turns out like, like the heartmates to like Poppy and like heartmates to Millicent, Millie, or whatever. So it's like it's just weird, interconnected, yeah. incestuous type of vibe, and I don't like it. Yes. <laughs> and just quickly, in terms of like the prophecy aspect of it all, because mm-hmm. yeah, Poppy keeps keeps being told that she is the bringer of death, of yeah. de- destruction, the harbinger, blah 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 blah. Um, and firstly, the whole revelation of it being like a technicality on how you perceive one word is bullshit but i do like the whole idea of like an unavoidable calamitous type of event in terms of like her and like like it was all kind of meant to happen no matter which way she kind of went about it um i enjoyed that little aspect because obviously poppy going by the definition of like the prophecy everyone was like very um apprehensive to allow poppy to like use her full potential and powers and stuff like that because you know again she's she doesn't want to be a monster she's not a mother this is not who she is blah blah blah. if she does this she's fulfilling a prophecy but even though she inadvertently fulfilled Mm. the prophecy anyway so it's like yeah i I just like that like calamitous event where like no matter what they kind of do it'll it's just gonna happen Mm. um and just the final battle would just seem bullshit to be honest it just i don't know that's all confusing confusing i'm over it i would also like to respectfully disagree with you kenzie about (laughs) shadow in the ember (laughs) Just in terms of creatures Get and like, and <laughs> <laughs> you learn that Macedonia or Castedonia is actually lasagna. So like, 
Yeah, but as if you didn't put that together anyway. I didn't put it together until it was spelt out for me. But, like, if you didn't read it, yeah, like, you if you just read this and there wasn't a prequel, you'd just be like, oh, like, this I have a couple it. of questions, but you'd be like, oh, I don't really need a whole yeah. book, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, yeah, and then Poppy does find, like, a tome early on and it mentions Princess Kaylee and... Um, Princess Ezra and her consort Marisol and all that, which was yeah. a fun little throwback. And like the creatures at the end, the the Dakis, Dakai, or whatever yeah. the fuck they are. Um, and then just all about being like the victor and the fates and the array, or however you say them. Mm. Though I did like the pronunciation pr- pr- pronunciation guide guide, yes, <laughs> in the beginning of, of the book. But then I looked at it and I was like, no, I'm saying it how but I want to like, say it. But like, I look at that and then because I have the audio book, like they still pronounce it like differently as well. Wrong. So I'm just like, <laughs> audio books are taking an L these yeah, days. Like. In, I'll bring it up in the book as well, but in the book that I'm listening to, instead of en suite, they say in suite. In suite. <laughs> yeah, or like en suite. It's either in suite or en suite. Like it's, How? and it's like, what? yeah, every time as well. It's like, why was this not picked up on? But anyway. Wow. Are they like American? Yeah. But it's still en suite. Yeah, like, no, it's still en suite. Yeah. En suite. Yeah. En suite. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts, feelings, emotions. It was a bit of a tangent, but we may talk about them a bit more deeply later. What about you, Kenzie? You've had time to stew a little bit longer than me. So my thoughts, feelings, and emotions are this is a shit book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, I enjoyed it at the time because I was reading boom, 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 boom in a row. Yeah. Um, however, upon reflection, upon <laughs> clarity, s- upon second reread, um, it's a long book. It is a long and book. And I feel like, and I've said this before, that because it was only meant to be three, like they had to add in more stuff to stretch it out, etc. And like a lot of this didn't need to be in there like say it with your full ass chest Kenzie say it with confidence all right half the book could have been cut out it would have been the same thing (laughs) anyway and because it was the dual dual pov I think that made it more uh bigger as well anyway like that added more because you needed the both perspectives but like Castile's pov's he did fuck all just like he's just just dying in the cage yeah Yeah. exactly and like they could have had half of the Castile ones and I just feel like in previous like dual pov books that we've read um both points of view are pushing the story forward like they're both doing things mm. to yeah accelerate the plot whereas this one like poppy was doing all the stuff to like get to castile or get castile back and then castile was just like i'm thirsty <laughs> like yeah I'm or just he's bantering with callum I'm or like tortured, yeah. this my handmaid finger, is being super nice to me my like, finger why? got cut off like, yeah yeah and oh, like, like this handmaid is suspicious yeah. wow if she had blonde hair oh no she had red hair she'd look, look like, like poppy, poppy. Yeah. and then it's like oh look she has red hair <laughs> like, oh, i thought they have the same color eyes as well yeah. i think how interesting and she then, looks like, a little older <laughs> yeah and then like callum's just an asshole yeah and then like they're even bantering with like malik as well yeah um because he snuck down to help him, like, one time. Yeah. And he's like, that's suspicious, because you don't seem like someone who's on my side. Yeah. Um, and then I just... The, uh, and let it out, Kenzie. <laughs> when I was reading, I feel like every second chapter, like, from 50% onwards, I was like... <gasps> <gasps> yeah. <gasps> but it wasn't, like, hitting hard. It was more just like, oh, oh. like, this happened, and then this happened, and this happened. It's like, was this necessary, or are these things put in just for shock value yeah and then there are no stakes because in the end the final battle means nothing because Mm. of what happens which we'll get into but yeah and then i just i think you're left with even more questions i suppose there are two more books left in the series yeah but like and and then you got it's again a book where i feel like kind of like house of night again (laughs) where at the end of this one it's like okay well now we've just set up another big bad yeah and i just don't like i just don't like the idea of introducing more villains like when you're four books in yeah like yeah because i suppose isbeth as an individual she was never like the main villain from the get-go but she has it's it was the ascended general populace that was like the enemy yeah and then now yeah it's just strictly onto her and now it's gone she's gone um is she though i don't know i was i was also going to bring up i think the downfall with this book because after i read it i went straight to some reviews and like looking at goodreads and stuff and a lot of people disappointed valid reasons but that's Mm. their opinions i think the that is their right (laughs) that is their right i think one of the biggest mistakes actually this is in terms of having a uh, a continuous like prequel series as well Mm. i think the mistake that was made was keeping this consort's name a secret 
and this like saying her name you know is brings up so much power yeah. and all that unlocks all the shit yeah. or whatever and then it's like now you, then you're forced to read the prequel series to kind of yeah. get back but into I it but i can understand how let's just, we can just talk about um yeah, yeah just we'll talk freely and how, then we'll go yeah, like the whole thing of like to get poppy to unlock like the power or whatever oh she, also just quickly uh we've read it will be clear when we upload but yeah if you haven't read shadow and the ember first we're going to mention mm. that so if not please go away True. if not we are, yeah, very ahead in our recordings at the moment <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> um which is good um but yeah so the whole like idea to like unlock the power and stuff is that you have to say the primal of life's consort's name mm. but like no one knows her name and then Poppy is like, oh, but I do know her name. But it's never explained yep. how she knows her name. Yeah. I, so, and then that's what I thought Shadow in the Ember yep. was going to be about, like how they were like interconnected or whatever, and like how mm. she knew her name. But yeah, it's never explained. Yeah, I, I know you brought this up in another potty yet because when I was making the TikToks, I go th- through a little bit and you find clips and you... Yeah, you mentioned yeah. that once before, and yeah, I don't remember how she actually like knew her name. Yeah. But maybe it could just be like the familial thing. Yeah, Maybe, I, guess, but... I don't know. And also just like, yeah, four books in, two pre well, even though I have we haven't read the second yeah. prequel yet, but like in terms of publication, two prequel books in and well, like they're still I think, introducing um, new things. A light in the flame, because you're meant to read it after this one. Yeah. So I think I don't know if it's like a simultaneous thing happening. I think if it's just gonna be about Serafina and Yeah, Nectos. it's about it's about Serafina and Nectos. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, if, yeah, is yeah. it if it's happening in this timeline or like the prequel timeline because if you meant to read it after war of two queens like uh, what timeline does it sit? maybe just because it's released after war of two queens yeah. in terms of publication it just makes sense to read it then maybe but i feel like but shadow and the ember was released after war of two queens and you meant to read it before war of two queens so <laughs> and that's jennifer's fault for making this concert yeah. in the fucking secret <laughs> um i think i feel like the prequel series is go- it's going to end with ev- them all going asleep yeah. going to sleep actually yeah. no that can't happen because they, were, they had their kids. They had Malik and Iris. So, like, maybe yeah. it was upon maybe a pregnancy I mean, it, of sorts. Maybe we'll still go through how they had their kids and then going to sleep. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, because, like, Colas is asleep and, like, the Isbeth's plot is to, like, awaken him and mm. be the bringer of death and all that mm. fucking shit. But, yeah, I don't know. The mistake was keeping the consort's name a secret and now you have to have mm. this backstory of the secret. Mm. And, yeah, sure, there were a lot of references to Shadow and the Ember mm. and, like, yeah, the last moment where Poppy called her name... Are you okay? What was that? I heard a fly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to turn the TV off. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, and it's just confusing. And it's just, yeah, it boils down to a family squabble. And I know we're going to jump ahead real quick, but like with Isbeth explaining how, like the, just like the family tree aspect of it all. And it's like, oh no, it was um, that like technically Malik and Iris were not supposed to have kids. Otherwise it caused this whole thing yeah. to happen. And it's like, everyone's just like reckless family bullshit yeah. drama. It's like, I, also I don't get like- it. You've got an established world, you have established gods, etc. And I just feel like this book was introducing way more things, like introducing more <laughs> gods, introducing like more creatures or whatever. And I just and then because they all have the same fucking name. I feel like I feel like that there's not many like like creatures in terms like sure we have the craven and like yeah. the, Or just the like is, introducing yeah. like plot points in yeah, general. Yeah. And it's just like I'm so confused about like these gods because like Nyctos and Nectus or whatever <laughs> and then like Malik and Malek and all yeah. this stuff and it's like I don't how do I keep these? Yeah. And yeah. the fact that Isbeth is a false god but she has the powers and every sort of thing yeah, and benefits that a god has as, but she's not she's not ascended. It's like okay well then god. how have you lived this long? Like Yeah. It's like but she can die like a god as what Poppy, yeah. Poppy realised. Yeah. But yeah I don't know it's, it's weird. I don't know. It's too much. It's like, it's a word vomit. <laughs> it wants everything to be interesting. So unless we have any other quickly lingering thoughts, we can just go through like a bit of the plot and then just like see how we go. Oh, I had started going through the plot. <laughs> me getting started. Yeah, no, maybe. that's okay. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we do start in Cass's point of view and all his like... Um, yeah. I do love torturous. a tortured man. We yes. I love a tortured man. <laughs> a lot of discourse, people did not like how he was characterised after he was kind of found and released. They're like, that's not my Castile. Ugh. And it's like, the man's been, been like, tortured. Leave him alone. But to be life. fair, 50% onwards, as soon as he's like released, it's just nothing but like sex fest for him though. So it's yeah. like, uh, too much. Yeah, and it's like, you were captured for like five days, bro. Like, like, <laughs> it was actually like a couple months. Yeah, <laughs> in terms of being a And they, ha- and they like, had soulmate sex. Like, yeah. Come on. yeah, they had dream sex in the cabin. I know they say it's rare for heartmates to do that. Again, yeah. like heartmates, so rare, but... heartmates are supposed to be rare, but everyone and their fucking brother has a bloody heartmate. Yeah. Um, hear me out. 
if Malek is technic Malek is technically asleep, could Isbeth and Malek have, have soulmate sex? sex? Yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. But like, are they? Oh. But like, then she'd know if he was alive. But is he also beyond her now? Like, I mean, sure. Yeah. And then also like, um, I'm just the curious. whole Malek and Isbeth thing. But then Poppy's dad is Iris. Iris yeah. So it's like, great. <laughs> no, uh, it was explicitly mentioned because Poppy had that train of thought, mm. but then Isbeth was like, "No, he was like more than willing. He was, he was, he was, he was very it's willing." This is very like Catherine and Stefan and yeah, like Damon everyone's but... everyone's hooking up with each other. It's yeah. very, it's very young and the restless. Everyone's yeah. like, that's what I mean when it's a family squabble because yeah. everyone's like hooking up with each other yeah. and like because like yeah. Eloena and Malik or yeah. Malek and they are yeah, it's like, and just don't it's like everyone's too close. Let two brothers to stick their dicks in you. No. <laughs> One time when I was a teenager, though, I kissed a set of brothers. <laughs> I was so scared of where you were going with that. <laughs> it was like a couple of years apart, but yeah, they you both your, they had, you had your own joining. They both did kiss me. <laughs> oh, so yeah, the joining happened. We'll talk joining, about that yeah. later. That's yeah. fun. That brings up a lot of discourse. <laughs> um, but yeah, the family squabble of like everyone's like inter- almost interconnected too much. You can say what it is, incest. <laughs> it's incestuous because they're yeah. all not technically related to each other. Yeah. But the fact that it's been alluded that M- M- Malik and Castile had entertained yeah. Isbeth in some way. And then, you know, yeah, they're off with their daughters and all that shit. Anyway, Poppy has awakened, you know, the Draken from the last. So we have like Reva and yeah. like or- Aurelia and like others who I don't really care about. Um, <laughs> although Reva, another qualm about this book is that there are a lot of moments and like expositioning that Reva gives and it's like... Oh, I thought you would have known that. Yeah. To like Poppy. How? And it's like, what the fuck, it's bro? Like, let's remember that Poppy is 19. <laughs> she just realised she's, she's just a fucking primal. Out, yeah, that all this stuff in, like, it's been less than a year since she left mm. Casadonia or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And that was just another weird thing. It's like, oh, I didn't tell you this because I thought you would have known. And it's like, yeah, she, she doesn't know, she doesn't know jack shit. Yeah. Um, and also we get to know this handmaiden a little bit more in Castile's point of views. Her name is Millicent or Millie. Mm-hmm. And hand, hands up if you figured out who she was in relation to Poppy. Yep, for those two out of two. Listening, our hands are up. Um, like <laughs> She's Poppy's straight, sister. Like, as soon as he was like, oh, wow, well, like she could look like... Or like he was saying like, like she had a familiar face or whatever. And I was like, oh, this when, is so interesting. I think she must have talked to Poppy at one point. Or she must have talked to Castile. She described herself as Isbeth's second favourite. And yeah. as soon as she said that, I'm like, you're yeah. the sister. Um, I have a question. Okay. Because she's dead, essentially. Because like she's a revenant. Yeah, and like she's been, I feel like she's been killed a couple of times. Um, how does that like heartmates thing work with... I suppose she's not technically nothing. dead, so it just, it's yeah. ever going. Yeah. And then also... Oh, like... that's a very good point though. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Yeah. Because uh, 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 she's not killed properly. No. But then also like... Are you immortal? Like in a way. In a way. And then how how can you kill a revenant? It's like you, was it shadow stone through the head yeah, and heart? Yeah. Chop it off or something? Yeah. Um and then also, um again like heart means is so rare. But again, you're like two brothers and two, two sisters. sisters. And like are they interchangeable? <laughs> <laughs> like like Malik and Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> and then because Malik was meant to marry Poppy, like that's what the Queen wanted. And she's mm. like if Castile had met Millicent. Millicent. And then also, I don't like that. It's Malik and Millicent. Like, yeah, it's, the, the names are a bit too, yeah. <laughs> too on yeah. the nose. Too and close. then because... Millie and Malik. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then because Millie um, is obviously Poppy's sister, it's like, why isn't... I guess because she's a revenant. But, like, why isn't she... Why doesn't she also have, like, the power? Because, like, same bloodline. <laughs> I know. Um... I had a thought about this and then I did some research and I found out I was wrong. <laughs> humbled. <laughs> I, was, I was humbled by the internet. I thought I was onto something. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to sound so smart on this podcast. Like, I was like, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> nah, um, it just, she just didn't inherit the powers and she's a yeah. failure. Yeah. Ala like, Serafina, a failure. failure. Um, see, all right. I will tell you what I initially thought. Okay. Earlier in the series, they talk about the importance of like second sons and daughters and yes. like third sons and daughters oh, yes. and like, is it I don't I don't remember if it's like each generation or if it's each like child mm-hmm. where Ether is like more prominent in somebody yeah. or whatever in Atlantia or whatever. Oh, well, I'm a third think about, daughter, so good good for you. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking, if if Ether is relevant to like if you're the firstborn, secondborn, thirdborn, mm-hmm. technically Poppy is a thirdborn. If you think about the first child that got killed, 
Well, so I've got him. Malik's child. Her, Isbeth's and Malik's child. Oh. They share a mother, though. Like, oh. in terms of, like... Oh, this is true. It, it could have something to do with, like, the ether, well, and maybe that's why oh, Poppy's yeah, a bit more powerful. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I thought that that might have something to do with, like, Poppy having, like, greater ether, and maybe having a more of a chance mm. to inherit such thing, or whatever. But because... But because Malik and Iris are both sons of Nyctos and Seraphina, like, they both have, like essence of like the primal of life or whatever no. the primal life isn't going to discriminate between two different how am i going to say this that's what i'm saying like, and then like i don't know i don't know that's what i'm like yeah I'm yeah, saying, yeah why in the power she just failed Paul. Paul. you suck where's the editors i'll be writing a letter because <laughs> he's gone off no but like because like life because the first sons and daughters things is bullshit like because that's yeah, just about them getting yeah i know but blood. like I, I don't know if it's like a generational thing about having stronger levels of ether in them or if it's just like the sons and daughters thing having the ether and so like if poppy is like the third daughter daughter or whatever she'd have a stronger ether and therefore it the primal of life or whatever impacts her a bit more i don't know i don't know dude that, that's why i thought i was i was right and i i was right i just can't explain it right now it was so good when i was thinking about it and then i got so wrong I love this, but I need to poop. That's okay. We can wait. <laughs> Rip my bum hole. Run away from it. <laughs> I'll keep that in. Please. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, long story short, I feel like Poppy being a third, like the third daughter, because life doesn't recognize the differential between two fathers yeah. who have the primal of life sort of essence or whatever. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. I feel like that amplified her power mm-hmm. in some way, perhaps. Anyway, it could be wrong. Right, pro- probably very Maybe wrong. Maybe just destiny. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, first half of the book, Poppy is conquering, all the, conquering, liberating all these places. <laughs> just as you said, she's liberated, <laughs> yeah, not a liberating, conqueror. <laughs> liberating. Um, I feel like there's still a bit of naivety about her in a way that, like, she wants the Ascender to just, like, give up as if they're not willing to fight back for their little villages. Yeah. Like, sure, Ian was one Ascended, that knew what was going on and kind of was in a way doing what he needed to do to survive but he's dead anyway like she's giving that much faith in like the other ascended and as far as we're aware all of them are like fuck you bitch atlantean bringer of death or whatever i think though again like i was saying before like we have to remember that she's 19 yeah yeah. she's only just learned about all this stuff and she's just like well i'm trying to get my husband back in the i guess least violent way possible yeah for sure for sure because, yeah, she's not her mother. She's not a monster. Yeah. She's not the harbinger of death. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. The um, and then, yeah, Castile gets his finger chopped off. Uh, I think you jumped the gun on that. In, I did. A, in A Crown of Gilded Bones. But that's fine. I forgive you. <laughs> I was like, this sounds so familiar. Kenzie. And there's just so much of that happens. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, also, just quickly, in Castile's point of views, like, wait, so his finger's just gone? Like, yeah. obviously, as a vampire, he doesn't, he doesn't grow back? He's just a I, now. Yeah, I don't think they can regenerate. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, if only. Um, so yeah, the perky handmaiden, Millicent, whatever. Just her interactions with Castile. It's like, I know something you don't. I'm yeah. gonna give you sprinkle some information, yeah. and it's like, why? Yeah. Because that's because being a revenant. I don't know. Does it? What does it like affect her soul? Is she a little bit soulless? Yeah, I don't I think know. She's soulless. And like, is this? At, is she at a point where she just doesn't care mm. about if she is spilling these little bits of secrets or okay. whatever? She's just being and reckless. I think it's more like an inconsequential she, because she's yeah, I think second because favorite. Like, if she tells him outright, like she's going to get punished for sure. But I think she wants him to know because she's like, this is like for your benefit. Because I think she's like over it. She's like, yeah, I just, I want my life back. Yeah, I want my life back. Like, I want to kiss Malik. <laughs> hey nothing was stopping her <laughs> yeah but yeah so i think she's like i need you to know this so that yeah, you yeah. can save me <laughs> also just quickly yeah the heartmate situation yeah. like that that's what's holding malik there because he's trying to like protect her or whatever but you're retire- p- prioritizing like a lady over your family i suppose yeah. that's what you get with like a heartmate yeah. situation but at the same time your family is presuming the worst of you yeah surely you could have sent word or like had a bit of espionaging or something yeah. to like yeah, to let them know that you're okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's just playing the long game and mm. trying to protect Millie or get her out. Yeah, because that's the other thing. Like, if he had ever been caught, like, I guess the Queen would have punished Millie. Yeah, because she doesn't really want to kill them, but no. she, she wants she wants them. <laughs> she wants to destroy. <laughs> Sorry, the cat. Hello. She wants to destroy everything that like Nyctos created, yeah. which is like the Atlanteans. Yeah. Because he granted all that power and shit like that. So like. 
why she's just playing with that food though yeah. it's like she wouldn't want to kill her daughter's heart yeah exactly and like she's not gonna kill her daughter anyway her daughters like but she'll, she'll make unlock she'll she'll unlock Colas and make him destroy every everything instead she won't do it herself yeah but yeah, that's fun. We get a lot more, yeah, just like battle strategies and stuff as well. Like Poppy talking to Veneta. Um, they they make Veneta the um. Oh, what's the word? Oh, I forget now. What... The, she's um, um like head of state. If if um Poppy oh, and that dies, I forget. The, oh um, no. Oh my god, what is it called? The the advisor. I know it's something royal. It's, it's a royal. Like... Oh, but like if Poppy and Castile dies, like she she'll take control or she'll lead. Um, yeah. When Castile or Poppy cannot. Yeah. Um, oh, I can't believe I forgot what it's called. Um, I'm gonna Google to see if I can find it. Um, also, there's a point where Poppy finds out. I don't know if it's from Reva or yeah. somebody that um, primals don't necessarily need to feed, but she makes a deal with Kieran to like. Regent. Regent. That's it. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Veneta is the regent, um, yeah, acting yeah. leader in us when Poppy and Castile can't. Whatever yes. we know how that works. Oh yeah, Veneta crown regent. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what's the point of their Atlantean council then that we've Great established? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Wilma? <laughs> what happened to the sex what diary? What happened to Hello? This, this how the, are you? <laughs> this is probably the first book that like has not really mentioned explicitly the diary. I know. Oh, this reminds me of that sound that I hear on TikTok. I think it's of the YouTuber chick, The Makeup. She's talking about James Car- Charles. And oh, it's yeah. like, dick, suck dick and cock. Oh, yeah, tardy. Time and place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's my about. birthday dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, um, I remember where I was. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I got home from whatever I was doing and I, like, planted. I watched yeah, it's the like, whole oh, hour God. or whatever. <laughs> uh, never again. So, yeah, uh, they find out Poppy doesn't really need to feed as much, um, but she will need to feed at some point and Kieran offers to feed her. Poppy what? also, yeah, yeah, Poppy and Kieran also make a deal where, like, if Poppy feels like she's becoming this monster, like, Kieran has to put her down. Yeah. And he's like, I will, I don't want to, but I will do it. And it's like, he wouldn't, though. No. It's like, you know what? Let's, th- you know what? Let's just talk about Poppy feeding off Kieran. Yeah. How'd we feel? Hot. Thoughts, feelings, emotions? Um, <laughs> Emotional cheating, perhaps? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not, like, <laughs> in normal circumstance, sure. But I think that they have a special bond it's been established since book one yeah and i think like yeah it was always leading to what comes and who comes <laughs> um so uh, yeah i'm not that surprised yep. what about you uh, i thought and it was just like yeah like castile wouldn't want anyone else it's yeah yeah, like... yeah it and kieran even said like you're safe with me and i'm like oh that's oh. so cute um Love but him. yeah like yeah there's no one else that castile would not that it's castile's a choice to whoever she feeds from like yeah. as a primal she can free from whoever the fuck yeah. she wants she's her own independent yeah. woman and she's a queen bitch. although yeah although it is the thing where it's like um they would rather feed from like their heartmate and all yeah. that type of stuff but yeah kieran is like the second best option what or if, the next best do you reckon you could dream feed like kind of like how if they're having dream sex <laughs> no i feel like they physically need oh. the or as as they're in as they're intercoursing feeding yeah. and that yeah. replenishes your physical body. Ooh, yeah. I don't think so. No. Unfortunately, if only though. If only. Otherwise, Castile would have healed much more quickly. Yeah, true. Um, but no, that was fun. But yeah, there's been a lot of discourse about the whole like Poppy and Kieran have been emotionally cheating like this entire book, in, in, even with the joining thing. And we'll talk about the joining a little yeah. bit more later. But like, uh, I don't know. I think it's Castile like it's been alluded to, it, to the they've all. They all have a very special relationship with each other. Castile and yeah. Kieran have a very special bond. Yeah. One would like, say, like... Castile and Kieran have definitely fucked. Like, <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> like, yeah, it's got that vibe to it. And just, like, the fluidity of, like, the woven, like, sexual culture and stuff. Everything is very open and just valid and no one really gives a shit. A very progressive-minded book and, like, people... And, like, a threesome has kind of been alluded to this entire yeah. time. Um, especially in the events of, like, book two and three. Like, yeah. Kieran being in the room when... Castile and Poppy are going at it. Yeah, it's like, come on. inside her. <laughs> <laughs> Up against the wall. Yeah. So, like, yeah, obviously it was going to happen. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I see you saw people got really pissy with it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no. Oh, people described Kieran as just, like, a pet in this book. But, like, he's been a wolf. He's a wolf. He's been a pet, <laughs> the, whole been a pet the whole yeah. time. And, yeah. like, I, yeah, I don't like, yeah, the way it's described that, like, he sleeps at, like, the bottom of her bed every night mm-hmm. or whatever. And it's so, like, you're not a real dog. Yeah, you're not a real dog. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, calm down. Anyway, that's all we have to say about Kieran. Although, yeah, Kieran, he had a very nice advisory role. He kind of filled the banter that Castile would have had. Yeah. And, you know, he's still answering questions and, yeah, just those bantering pages of, like, 
Oh, another question. Oh, I'm so surprised. Oh, no, no, I'm just like, I've over got it. over there like, I have a question. I'm not surprised. I have a question. And it's yeah. like, yeah, well, if you just wrote a good book, there would be a question. So. Um, also, throughout the first half, Poppy is um, dodging and weaving assassins, <laughs> trying to kill her using primal magic. And now, like, a thing like primal magic is being kind of introduced where, you know, you can learn these spells and everything. Yeah, and it's like, like, what? I'm just more confused. I like, that's it. again the thing that I just and like sixteen biggest... dracken were killed on site. Yeah. It's like, what's the point yeah. in having them? I have um a big qualm with the whole yeah like introducing new ideas and stuff mm-hmm. and like plot points like this far into the series already. Yeah. It's like I feel like in the next book it's gonna take like a very different tangent. Mm. And then again, like, it's just going to build up to, like, a big war. And it's like, ugh, just let your people be happy for a It's like, bit. this like, book is called War of Two Queens. It was really a war of one queen. Yeah. Isbeth did fuck all. Yeah. Poppy did all the all the work. Oh, God, yeah. Isbeth was just waiting for them to get there. Yeah, exactly. Because she knew. Yeah. At some point, Reva explains all the Colas stuff about how Colas switched places with Ethos and all that blah, blah, blah. And that's where Shadow and the Ember comes in handy, of course. Um, they, they have general meetings. They meet the lords and stuff. I'm just going through my, my notes. <laughs> oh, good. Um, I think Malik visits Castile after the um, finger chopping yeah. situation and he helps him out. Yeah. Um, we learn about his old bonded woven called Prela, yeah. who turns out to be Delano's, Delano's sister. Mm-hmm. Does everything have to be too interconnected? I know. Is my question. I know. An interesting note Malik, I don't know if he talked to Castile or he must have talked to Poppy, but it turns out Prela's bones were made into like woven daggers uh-huh. from her from her and everything and i thought oh this is going to be an interesting conflict because poppy has one yeah. right and he she has the last one because he's collecting them yeah. which is weird but like but i mean like fair fair but was he like i know it's one of those things where like you're really bonded with the woven but is it to the point where you're like in love like do you need to really collect all the <laughs> bone things i don't know he probably res- respected her a lot i think they do have an encounter where they where malik and poppy talk about the wolf thing but he doesn't take it from her anyway they liberate oak ambler which is yeah. fun, which is one of the strongholds, I yeah. guess. And, like, all the ports and stuff. Um, and, of course, one of the lords um, amongst Atlantia knows about primal magic. Of course. <laughs> Old mate Lord Sven. Um, also, they had this location tracking spell, right, to trying to get Malik. I may have skimmed. I mean, oh, no point asking you because you probably forgot as well. But, like, did they use the spell at all or did they just figure out where he was? They just figured like, it out. So they had all this stress about trying to find this Lord Sven, yeah. learn this spell, have this object that would hopefully lead us to him and then just not use it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I know, a lot of it was just, like, fucking around. Yeah, and fuck like, around. Banter, and gonna... A lot of it was, like, just banters yeah, and yeah. stuff. And I was like, just get to that point. Yes. Gianna and Tawny arrive. We love Tawny. Tawny is not quite right still. She's a little cold. She her people she, aren't yeah, great. She's but she's ascended, but she's not dead, but she's not alive. But she's, she's a little bit funny. She's yeah, feeling a little quirky. Yeah. Um and Gianna makes an appearance. I ship Gianna and Tawny. I don't yeah. know. They've just had a fun relationship. Uh we also oh yeah, Tawny had some sort of experience where she figured out she revealed the prophecy to be true. Yeah. Yeah, she's like some sort of like seer at this point like i don't know yeah something happened or she had yeah. a vision or something yeah. and yeah so she she like has dreams or something and she's like i'm not i Poppy, forget i have to tell you this like, yeah it's like the prophecy is real the prophecy yeah. that alistair told and us like in book two is real yeah, it's like something told me that i have to tell you this alone yeah and it's revealed that like i'm gonna assume it was the god penelope yeah we learned that Sorry, victor penelope. <laughs> penelope we learned that victor was what a victor, victor? <laughs> how original we learn about victors and Shadow on the Ember, right? Yeah. They're just like protectors. Sort of, they're like, yeah, mentioned offhand. Yeah, they're like protectors of people. Yeah, because... um, They're not quite fates, but yeah, they're not... Sir, what's they're... his face was... Yeah, Sir Holland. Yeah, Sir Holland was a... No, Sir Holland was a fate. A victor is different. Oh, that's right, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, Victor is just like a protecting. At least, at least, see these things. Like, do we really need the intricate detail yeah, of like exactly. having someone protect someone? Yeah. Like, what's the real difference between a victor and a fate? And a fate, yeah. And also, what gets me is like back in book two atlanteans were like we don't believe in prophecy but like you have a world full of magic and yeah. gods and like prophecy is the hill you're gonna die on and then there's like a few skirmishes you know liberating town and all that shit she's giving people benefit of the doubt yeah. and they're like fuck you and we're gonna kill them all yeah and like there's instances where like bodies are pinned on the rise yeah. of some places and stuff like the ascended are just trash yeah the ascended are just like well we win yeah <laughs> like you yeah. can do what you want but so pretty much the last 50% onwards, we're in Carcedonia, also known as Lasagna. It turns out the Blood Queen is using the prophecy as a weapon because everyone is under the impression that Poppy is like the physical being of the bringer of death and like whatever she does, she is going to destroy the world, blah, 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 blah. And like that's what Isbeth is banking on. 
Yeah. She's like, yeah. if I can unlock you, then. Yeah. And then Poppy's doing everything in her power to, not. ironically, to not use her power yeah. and to not try and do any of this. So she negotiates a visit to Castile because, like, they're visiting, they're in the castle. They had the plan to um, rescue Castile, but then Isbeth kind of caught them and is like, I'm inviting you to the castle yep. to, like, hang out and have fun, you know? Yep. Um, bonding. Mm-hmm. Um, so she negotiates to visit Castile. There was a choice between her and Iris. And again, there's this thing about, we need to find Iris, who's my father, mm. but, like, you've done nothing to progress this. Yeah. Like, and also, like, Two books now. And it's like, okay, yeah, but, like, what's that really going to do for you? Yeah, I know. I took a fair bit of, like, kind of, like, law notes. Uh, it turns out that Iris sought Isbeth out after 200 years of the War of Two, Queen- yeah. Two Kings. So, like, obviously they had, like, a hookup. It was a hookup situation, mm-hmm. I guess, um... Uh, Elizabeth knows how to use primal magic because of Colas, uh, primal magic of Colas from Malik, who, which is weird in a sense because I know Colas is Malik's uncle, no grandfather, no father, I, I father, I, I no, Nyctos is Malik's father, Colas is Nyctos's uncle, so yeah. great uncle, yeah. See family squabbles, yeah. <laughs> family squabbles. And ultimately, Collis and Nyctos are, like, rivals. So, like, how would you know your, like, perceived enemies? Mm. Magic. Oh, well. And it's, uh, uh, like, she uses Iris to make revenants. I think, yeah, they all learnt that. Whatever. Millicent. Mil- and it's like, I don't understand how, like, some blood <laughs> can make ascended. And some can make revenants. And some can make revenants. It's like, is there magic involved? Or, like, yeah. how does this work? It depends like- on your definition of a god or a deity yeah. and all that type of stuff. And Millicent is Poppy's sister, not a god, a failure, because she somehow didn't have any magic that got inherited, but okay. And yeah, Elizabeth's whole revenge plot is just, she just wants to see all the Atlanteans dead uh, because of Nyctos. So, oh, it's because Nyctos rejected the Heartmate trials. It's like, are you really going to hold yeah. on to this grudge? Yeah. For the rest of your life? Yeah. Far out. It's like, yeah, all this because some guy was just not that into you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I think I was right, because Callum is, as a god, he's a he's a like a uh, bantering idiot revenant in this book mm-hmm. he was a he's a god yeah. that was mentioned in shout in the ember and so he's obviously turned into a revenant of sorts or he, he could be something different because he was a god he could be like whatever Millicent is maybe i yeah. don't know um and so he's just being a bit of a twat and like he kind of witnessed like the era of nyctos and seraphina mm. so like it'd be interesting to see what he's like in the uh, more so in the prequel series as well in comparison i also want to know more about callum yeah because he was obviously there with like seraphina as well yeah he's obviously co- like in allegiance with Collis because he taught isbeth how to do primal magic yeah that's coming from Collis, so yeah. obviously he's a bad guy yeah but it's like what have you been doing for the last like x amount of years yeah yeah for sure yeah i, I suppose maybe see, sort out like-minded people sightseeing who, <laughs> sightseeing <laughs> Maybe he had some sort of, like, truce with, like, Nyctos or, like, even Malik or Iris. I don't fucking know. Um, and, yeah, it's later revealed Malik and Millie are heartmates. And, yeah, Carcedonia is confirmed to be Lasania. Lasagna. Lasagna, um, which, yeah, it took me a while to figure that out because um, everything seems so familiar. I think Reva or even Nyctos revealed that. Like, they just seem like the... I was just it, like, well, in the prequel, they're, like, talking about, like, Carcedonia and stuff. And then I was just like, okay, well, the only thing that makes sense is that this is... All, right, all right, smarty <laughs> pants. <laughs> I also felt like Reva and Nectus were, like, those NPCs in a video game where you're just skipping all the dialogue and asking yeah. all the questions. Like, that's all they were doing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fun. We got to see Castile in, like, a bloodlust. Yes. That's cool, because we saw he went a little bit too far... In was it Gilded Bones? Yeah, and now he's a bit like off the rails now. Yeah. So like that was very interesting because. Yes, but also then like it doesn't last that long. I don't know, but like it was very scary though. Yeah. Like yeah, he was gonna rip them to shreds. So yeah, they eventually escape. Um, Malik knows some people. Malik helped out, mm-hmm. which kind of shows you what side he's on. Um, I think Malik is like mol- mol- morally <laughs> morally grey at this point because yeah. he's like. I'll help you, but, like, I'm doing this for my own interests. Yeah, he just, he, he wants to help, but he at the end of the day, he wants to get back and help with Millie, um, which is fair enough. Like, they go to this, these, this couple's house, Blaz and Clarissa or whatever. Yeah. Um, Castile is being, like, chained to a wall because they have to somehow feed him. Yes. Um, while he's going crazy. Uh, Poppy does that. Um, I don't remember if it was, like, a, like a very, like, a sexy moment or if it's just, like, a feed me type of moment. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, we also learn, I think through Malik, 
that Millie didn't survive her culling and that's yeah. so yeah she um because there's always that risk yeah. and therefore she couldn't ascend to any sort of godhood or whatever um oh yeah and Callum showed Isbeth how to make a revenant and it turns out it's I think more revealed that Poppy is like the primal of mortal flesh or yeah. whatever um flesh also and fire, baby. yeah <laughs> also we get a bit more of the backstory about what happened the night Poppy's quote-unquote parents died in the village in Loxwood. Sorry. <laughs> Raise your hands to the two of us who realised that Malik was the dark one. Yay. Like in the first book. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not even the... Oh, I didn't know that the first book. All right, relax. And then, yeah, so it's sort of like Castile sort of took over that sort of persona yeah. in a way. Well, they but, just started calling him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the dark one, yeah. Because yeah. they, I, f- I feel like they look alike. Yeah. Very similar. Well, they're brothers, so... I know, but like, <laughs> you could look very different to each yeah. other. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of backstory on that. So it turns out Malik was sent to that village to kill Poppy. Yeah. And then Castile holds that over him for like a good portion yeah, of the book. I don't know why he was sent to kill her if he was meant to marry her. Yeah, no. I don't know, bro. Unless he was <laughs> just so sent to capture her, but... Maybe. But no, Malik was all like, I, I had to kill her. Yeah. Maybe because he knew like what the plan, like what the queen had planned. Maybe so her... So maybe she was like, capture her. And he was like, oh, I'll just kill her. Yeah, rid this whole yeah. cosmic reset. Yeah. Calamitous event. But then Castile got like super mad. Like, bro, you, you tried to kill Poppy as a baby. It's like, you didn't know her as a baby. Yeah, <laughs> Relax. So you were like a 50 at this point. How weird Poppy is... Poppy was eight. <laughs> how, how weird is it? Yeah, yeah. like that age range. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oof. Um, yeah, Malik led the attack on the village. Oh, it also was re- revealed Alistair saw Malik in the castle when yep. Malik was quote unquote captured. Yep. Alistair just knew everything. Alistair yeah. was a dirty dog. Yeah, he was. He just team at here. Yeah. The, the, team we, himself we, and team himself yeah and then that just sort of oh now i don't trust gianna anymore <laughs> although i don't think she likes him I think anyway she's like made it clear that she's like i don't stand for my yeah. uncles yeah fair, yeah fair 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 ideology but shia on the other hand shia shay shia shay <laughs> on the other hand and then they spend a bit of time in this couple's house because they're trying to find a way out and just like recuperate castile and they spend a little too much time there because yeah. they get fucking caught yes because of course they do because of course and then um callum curses kieran and he has a dead line mm-hmm. he has two weeks so that's fun how did you feel about this whole curse sense of urgency situation and like they made a deal that had to find malik's body because isbeth somehow thinks poppy knows where he yeah, is it wasn't real in the end was it like they could have it was no, no, no. but they could have broken it at any time i don't know the mark was gone but yeah. callum still had to do something i think maybe but i think it was like revealed that like they wouldn't have died or something like that. maybe it was something like that yeah. it was a big what if yeah and then it was stupid <laughs> also i just like again like, it's like there's so much plot in yeah, this yeah, book yeah, yeah. like also throughout like the second half funnily enough poppy has a sword jaw some yeah. uh sore teeth some sword jaw issues huh? i wonder some, some what's uh issues. happening yeah there. and yeah. i was just like okay teeth <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah she's uh she's in the culling yeah uh-huh. oh yeah and it was also yeah isbeth was saying oh yeah everyone's saying poppy hasn't finished her culling yet yeah and all that type of stuff yeah. so Fun, fun, fun. Um, yep, Kieran has two weeks to live. They negotiated a two-week timeline to retrieve Malik. It, it didn't take that long. It took like what a day or two day. to get back to their <laughs> yeah. day, to get back to home base, and yeah. then a couple of days to get to where they need to to go. Yeah, I think they realized he was in the blood forest, mm. and that's why the trees are forest. Forest. I said forest. <laughs> <You> said forest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't help it. I don't know why. And that's why the trees are bleeding and stuff because yeah. he's resting yeah. there. He's resting. <laughs> he's just chilling. <laughs> he's entombed. Chilling, chilling, entombed. And also within this two weeks, the joining happens because they're thinking like this joining, the linking of them three will prolong this curse. It's a big what if situation. Yeah. I think that's what happened. I think because they joined. Like, the yeah, mark it did away. help. Yeah, the mark. Yeah. Maybe did, maybe Callum did make a comment like, yeah. huh. Like it was a very surprised moment yeah. of like, oh, he should be marked or cursed. Yeah. But like, it's not. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah, the joining. Yeah. Quickly. How do you feel? Wow, this is shocking. I am shocked. <laughs> shocking. This is shocking news. <laughs> I am shocked. Um, we all knew it was coming. Um, yeah. And then I know they have like all the conversations about like, oh, like it might not be inherently sexual, like blah, blah, blah. And it was like, the most sexual thing possible. Like, I know that like she's going to take it in multiple holes. Like <laughs> She's going to enjoy I herself. Think, I think Castile penetration her. Oh, really? I, it yeah, got I to think... a point. She's like, at this point, I don't know who's in me. Yeah. That's what she said. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. fuck. Okay. I didn't realise that. I must she didn't know what was what was where or who yeah. she was with. Like, anyway, she was hot. in a daze, guy. <laughs> she was, she was yeah. enjoying life. Yeah. Nah, I was into it. 
I thought it was quite tasteful. Yeah, I don't it, know. Was, it was done tastefully. I, I don't think I've read it like a threesome experience like, before. And then they put me on the spit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was done no, quite no. tastefully. Been a and like, even Kieran and Castile had a nice little drinking situation with yeah, each other. Like, yeah, they talked. Yeah, there was some blood. It was, and I like how like they told, they're like, We've told people that, like, we're doing the joining, but, like... Yeah. So they know to stay away, but, like... It was just to protect them from, yeah. like, outsiders. Yeah. They don't want to get interrupted. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, yeah. But there was... I liked how there was so much... Even, it was, like, borderline annoying, though. It was, like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you yeah. sure? And we love consent, though. We it's important, consent, but, but like, it's, like, every two seconds, like, you can... She's you just, can like, stop hurry it up and get this It's, like, with. yeah, like, just <laughs> get in me. Yeah. Is what she's, like... Get in me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was... It was it was good. I thought it was tasteful, mm-hmm. like... It felt like they were just, like, worshipping her in a way, which is what she deserves. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I thought it was good. And, like, I loved the whole, like, the silver thread connecting everybody yeah. in, like, in a shield type of manner. Yeah, that was very cool. I thought it was really cool. Yeah. It was cool to visualise. Yeah. And then, yeah, Kieran's mark went away. So, there was a lot of discourse that I saw online. People are like, they called it, like, a fan service yeah. for this threesome. And it's like, but it's been alluded it's to been this alluded entire to time. the whole time, yeah, since like, the first book. Like, yeah, it's like, if that's something you're not into, then why would yeah. you continue? Yeah, exactly. And, like, maybe, like, it didn't have to be, like, as gratuitous as it was. But like, whatever. it was fine. I thought it was yeah, fine. It was fine. Yeah. Shall uh, we talk about? I just want to quickly. Oh yes, sorry. W- maybe what I want to talk about is a bit later on. What we? What I do was you... gonna say. Should we talk about the final battle? Oh no, no, not yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a quick qualm as well. So with the retrieving of Malik. Yes. Again, there, I felt there was no real sense of urgency. Because yeah. they figured it out. They just asked old mate. Who's Castile's dad's name again? I forget. Uh, Mr. Castile. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I don't know. Castile Senior. Like, because ultimately he knew where Malik yeah. rested. And it's like, all right, so they don't need the spell. They don't need to go on a fucking adventure. Yeah. And that, another thing, like, there was no sense of adventure amongst yeah. this urgency. Because we've, we have, in terms of creatures, they've been counted. We've had the craven. Yeah. We have germs. Now germs. we've learned there are different types of germs. Yeah. And then, like, the unseen. Although the unseen have been unseen yeah. since, like, the second or third book. And there's, like feel like battled Craven a million times. They've now battled germs a handful of times now. It's like, is there any more creatures that we can interact with who are hostile or who are protecting this space? Or because it's just, it's getting boring and reused if it's the same creatures. Yeah. It would have been better if there was like a third party involvement. That way, the tussling They're and like, like racing against, racing against yeah. time. Because yeah, they were just on their merry yeah. way. Yeah, the fighting descriptions were all like good and stuff. But yeah, there was no sense of urgency. And it was like, yeah. And then just they just got Malik and just pissed him yeah. off back home. Like yeah. that's it. Right, we got you. They didn't even open it yeah. to see if he was in there. It was just you just <laughs> a tomb. Wasn't in there. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, and it what? turns out these were sentry germs yeah. who were there to protect him. And it's like, oh, so yeah, he was in the blood forest. 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 Yeah, and yeah, the germs, the sentry germs, were protecting him, and the primal of life sent them. So like, obviously, Sarah Fina knew he was there, and she's the one who ordered the germs to protect him. Mm-hmm. Um, and also there was a smell of lilacs. Yeah. So that's fun. That's interesting. We love the yeah. common motif yes. of the smell of lilacs. Ooh. And then the joining happened. In Retrieve Malik. And then meet at this bone temple. Yeah. All right. Take it away. The ending. All right. Let's talk about the final battle. First, how did you feel first? Sorry. I'm interrupting you. I was shocked. <laughs> did you expect Isbeth to just stab Malik? No. To kill him? No. That was odd. I find that a, a little bit of a funny parallel, actually, because I think even though Poppy made that promise to Kieran about, you know, if I'm a monster, kill me or whatever, yeah. she wanted Castile to kind of do that as well. Yeah. And you'd think being heartmates, you might not physically be able to. Yeah. But, but do then you think as well that was like that parallel because Poppy stabbed Castile in the heart? Like, <laughs> oh, I didn't even think of that. But like that was, <laughs> she was just defying him though. Yeah, but she was like, I hate you. <laughs> but in she was the just moment, defying in the heat of the moment. Sure, sure. Anyway, but, <laughs> okay, but then this battle, everyone dies. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Delano, gone. Yeah, Delano. Vanetta, sorry, Delano, yeah. gone. Vanetta, Vanetta gone. Yeah. Kira, oh, Hissa, gone. gone. Yeah. yeah, everyone gone. Everyone Ni- gone. Neil, Niall, yeah, gone. Niall, gone. And I was oh, like, Emil, sorry, yeah. Emil, gone. And I was like, what the fuck? And then Poppy obviously does. Sarah. So ultimately, yeah. Collis is like being unlocked because yeah. Malik, something to do with Malik yeah. dying. Yeah, cool. Um, And then... Yeah, Poppy calls upon Serafina. Serafina! Yeah, and Serafina's like, you know what, like, I only do this a handful of times, but, yeah. and brings everyone back to life because she is the primal of life. It's, it's all a part of, the, if you think about it, it's all a part of the destiny. It is, but I was just like... <laughs> I know, it's very OP. Where are the stakes? Yeah, like... What happened to not taking souls away from Nyctos? Yeah, exactly, your love. <laughs> Let them like, go. Yeah. Give him a job. 
Uh, and it's like, yeah. if you've had this power this whole time, like, yeah. and then it's like, is Poppy able to do that? Like, because she can bring... Perhaps in yeah. due time. And yeah. yeah, it also revealed that Poppy has succeeded her culling. She has fangs and Yeah, stuff she now. has fangs and stuff now. So fun, yeah. fun, fun. Oh, no, that, I think that might have been later, earlier on. But, yeah. like, she gets to bite Castile for once, and that was yeah. a sexy time. Yeah, she's like, mm. But, yeah, I forget what the intricate details were, but something to do with Malik. And then does get killed? Yeah, Poppy yeah, kills gets, her. Poppy kills her, that's right. Yeah. And then, but then Malik is... They take the stone out, so he's not dead, dead anymore. Yeah. But he was in the process of dying. That yeah. was a good race against yeah, time because you're like, "What the fuck's gonna happen?" Yeah. But yeah, but I think, in essence, Collis still is kind of unlocked because yeah. Callum fucks off and he's yeah. all like smug. Yeah. And Millicent is Millicent okay? She ran away. She ran away. Okay. Of course, she ran away. And then Malik is after her. Yeah, Malik is like, "My love, <laughs> my love." <laughs> just like, "Fine, I'll come after Fine. you." Um, I just feel like yeah, it's all this build up for this huge battle where everyone dies, and then oops, yeah. no one dies. I don't and then, know, and then, like, I feel like, though, that, like, is Beth dying doesn't really mean anything now, like... Because, I mean, Collis is unlocked. Yeah, Collis is unlocked, anyway. Just getting one one enemy out of the way after yeah. the other. Rose, it's just, she's just a, as much a, of a pawn as as she wanted Poppy to be. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, the Dakai creatures, the ones that are, like, attracted to maz- magic usage, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're very, like, kind of, like, OP as well. And, like, the Wolven actually ran away as well, yeah. which was a pretty... So they they know where to pick their battles. I like. I'm scared. Yeah. Um. So that's fun. I don't know. I just wish like. It's just so much. I wish someone like a couple of people had, like stayed dead or stayed something. Stayed dead. Like, I yeah. Just, yeah. It's like well, I don't understand the point of writing these like huge battles and like having yeah these like main players die. Yeah. Just for it to be like oh I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Low jokes. And then, yeah, April Fools. Like, again the whole like oh I know the. Consort's name, and it's like, yeah, yeah, how, yeah, how, and why, and like, why is that important? Like, because you're like, Poppy's essentially a primal of life as well, yeah. So, it's like, you would think, like, if she's I gone think... through the culling, like, like, she should have that power, yeah. I think the law of it, L O R E, yeah, is that there can only be one primal of life and primal of death at one, one time. time, and yeah. because Malik and Malek and Iris were bad boys and like were pretty much destined or told to never have children in order to risk this because having because poppy being alive is causing this cosmic reset which i don't understand so is this going to be like a like the the primal bell situation where like poppy would inevitably have to fight seraphina in order to be the primal of life no i think she'd have to fight colas so you think they're going to switch switch around again back to like normal normal yeah i think like because he's he's not technically the prime like in his core he is not the primal of life but I think because Serafina like is on Poppy's side, and like she, I know, but there can only be one primal. I know, but life. she'll just be like, "Oh, I'll just go back to sleep," or like she'll sacrifice herself. Because is it different if like Serafina is in like the land of the gods? Like, no, I don't think. It, as, again, it's just like oh, a pocket well, I think realm. She'll sacrifice herself then. She'd have to because it have to. Yeah, it has to be one primal be life. About how like yeah, she will be like the key to defeat like Cole and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, sure, they'll work together, but when the time comes, like I think Serafina or Poppy, one of them has to go I don't in order Poppy to be. Will go. No. If the story's a bit, yeah. I mean, she can pull a Veronica off. <laughs> I mean, I'm not opposed. No one will ever do that again. <laughs> like, no one's Jennifer. Daring. I challenge you to kill Poppy <laughs> off. Uh, yeah, no. There'll um, be riots in the street. <laughs> <laughs> really though, I think a lot of people have emotionally checked out of this series at this point, and there'll be no rioting. Uh, but yeah, I think th- th- it might be a battle, not even like a battle per se, but there'll be like a morality thing yeah. between Serafina and and. Yeah, Poppy at some point. There has to be. Because there could only be one primal of life god. Yeah. And now that there's... Like, she's succeeded her culling. Like, now there's two. What's going to happen? <sighs> now we're just going to read A Light in the Flame and we're up to date. <laughs> one more book. Does it have to be 600 pages long? <laughs> is my question. I know. Like, I just... I mean, we've read Throne of Glass. And, yeah. like, the last book itself is, like, 900 pages. Yeah. But, like, that was, like, a full war book. But, like, yeah. And the ho- it wasn't just, like, banter and, like, doing this. It Multiple like points of views as well. Though. Everything was progressing the plot forward. Yeah. And to the one point. To the one point, They yeah. all connected. At some, yeah, yeah, exactly. And they all had their own mission to like, do something. It wasn't just like, I'm stuck in a dungeon. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, yeah I get that. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it when I read it back to back to back to back. Yes. Because it made sense. You were able to like grasp everything. Yeah, but now that I've had time to like... <laughs> stew. Gain clarity. Yeah, and stew. <laughs> stew is becoming my favourite word yeah. in, this, in this essence. Yeah. Yeah, I just wished some would stay dead yeah i don't know if it's just me or if it's my skimming issues but like poppy and delano seem to have a very like tight 
I'm gonna say a pet kind of yeah. <laughs> relationship well like she's very attached to him and yeah. I don't know when this happened and yeah. it's like all of a sudden she really really cares yeah. like like she she loves and cares for like everybody but like yeah. She has a very, like, a special extra relationship with, yeah. like, Delano. And it's like, when did this happen? Yeah, but yeah she got really upset when he died. Yeah. And now no. he's brought back. No, yeah. Delano. <laughs> it's very a la um, Hannah Baker's mother in 13 Reasons Why. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and then at the, at the end, uh, Nectus pops up out of nowhere to oh, save yes, the day yes. and this is where the npc going through all the dialogues come in mm-hmm. like he's just answering all these questions yeah, let me explain everything to you <laughs> and he's pretty much explained essentially what happened in shadow and the ember yeah. as well what's yeah. already been explained yeah. so it was nice seeing reva as like older yeah when except you... i really hated the whole i didn't tell you this because i thought you knew i oh, know it's like obviously i didn't know like just tell me all the information like and yeah. then i'll tell you like an know. npc in, a, in yeah. a video game I enjoy the first half, and then it just it's just a family squabble. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe Millicent might have a greater role next book. I don't know. Maybe Millicent will die. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. She'll be the ultimate sacrifice. Yeah. And then, like, what happens with, like, Malik? Like, Malek and Malik. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what you get when you mix both. The- See, they're, they're too interconnected. Uh, I don't know. I know he's asleep, but, like, could he have felt that he's been stabbed? <laughs> like, is he just, can you he just wake up? Like, oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe to him it's the equivalent of, like, jumping, like, yeah. jerking, <laughs> like, jerking in his sleep. Um, yeah, I don't know. Surely some gods have to wake up. Yeah. Someone has to wake up. Yeah. And, like, they, can, they, they can feel the energy and they can feel what's happening. It's just, just wake the fuck up. Mm. In the grand scheme of things, I know they're following, like, this line of fate and destiny. But it's, like, surely... You just like cut that shit out. Just like stop it at the yeah, source. Just, <laughs> just like don't have children and this won't happen. Yeah. And yeah, just ultimately boils down to Malik. Just like do everything opposite of the prophecy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Malik and Iris, they you know they're not meant to have have kids, yeah. and yet they just they just they're just selfish. Mm. And they just and Isbeth is just a whore. I don't know. <laughs> Isbeth is a whore. I think she just wanted power. Yeah, she yeah she just want, yeah. she just wanted to be with her heartmate. Yeah. All it boils down to, but and like, that's stupid plot and motivation. Did, why did she sleep with Iris as well? You know, because she thought Malik was dead. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> like, don't go. That's out. very. That's <laughs> very Elena, Stefan, yeah. and then yeah. Damon. I feel like Stefan. Yeah, turned to the dark side at one point, and she's like, "I want to fuck." Yeah, it fucks. Uh, he did. Damon. He turned off his humanity. Yeah. And then he killed Enzo. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. fun. I used to watch the first, like, three seasons, like, religiously, and then I just died off Yeah, I can't. Once it gets to, like, the weird, like, the travellers, don't, yeah, I just, like, mm, okay. I think... I've watched, like, yeah, the first three seasons, and then the last episode, and I was like, I am lost. I know, I know <laughs> bits and pieces about, like, finding, like, a cure for, for yeah, being human and yeah. shit, but, like, then there's, like, witches and stuff that yeah. pop in, like, the heretic witches, and, yeah. like... Jeremy becomes like a monster hunter. Yeah, and then Vampire he's dead. Hunter. Also, but then he comes back. I'm pretty really? sure. Really, I'm sure everyone's dead. He comes yeah, back. So, I am lost. It's so funny that like Matt is alive. <laughs> the entire oh, the whole only, time, yeah. The whole human. He's just there. Yeah. <laughs> he's like the picture of your aunt that you showed me. <laughs> like, she's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I digress. Yeah. Um, that's it. Yeah. Cool. Final final thoughts, feelings. Um, I'm checked out. I'm emotionally I'm checked, checked out. out. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I, I might. Just out of curiosity, I'll, I'll finish the series. I will read the I'll next. I'll finish the series. Yeah, but like, I'm whether or not I'm done, I, I just don't care anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jennifer. It was a very sound, <laughs> sound series up until I'll probably the second right book. Look at this giant pimple that's coming. Oh, that's a big boy. I'm gonna pop it. It's cuffing season. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's it from us. Yeah. Thanks for listening. It's a yeah. It's, yeah. I think we've done <laughs> the I, dejection. Yeah, I think we've done a good job. Resignation. Concisely trying to get through it while it's like a 600 page book. So yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and not a lot of tangents this time, yeah. which is great, yeah. except for the vampire yeah. diaries. Okay, it's at the end. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening. Yeah. Uh, keep an ear out for next week. Next week would be A Light in the Flame, even though we haven't read it yet. Oh, fuck, okay. But by the time this is released, yeah. we would have read, read it. Yeah. Um, so we're thinking ahead and like, yeah. I feel like being a Marvel executive and be like, we were up to phase seven and yeah. we were already <laughs> yeah. up to phase three. We need to plant this evidence here so that <laughs> yeah. it can describe with this. Do, do tell Swift <laughs> Easter eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we're a mastermind. What can we say? No, uh, yeah, so Light in the Flame next week, followed by, just for fun, Love on the Brain, and maybe even Spanish Love Deception, etc. Yeah. So that's fun. Huh. Good. I um, can't wait to be done. Or I can't wait to be up to date. Yeah. And then we don't have to worry about the next book for a while. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. Follow us on the socials. Link tree in the bio of Instagram. Best place to be. Why do you look so worried? The fish what, eating fish? the tree. Oh, that's fun. Leave him alone. He's listening to his life. <laughs> 
are you pulling him for? Sorry. <laughs> Who the fuck eats a tree like that? <laughs> <laughs> or I'll see how you eat a fucking tree. <laughs> 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 All right, link in the bio, Instagram, follow us on the socials, in- Instagram, TikTok, um, YouTube, etc., etc. Yep. Find us in one place. Find Instagram, us the- find us in all the places. Exactly. Until next week, goodbye. Bye.